when we last spoke, we recapped all of the different testing that we completed at this lab lab. We conducted a number of different tests so that we could look at maybe what caused this particular fish kill. Ultimately, we know it was a number of different things. It was a perfect storm type of event. Um, but we also took that data so that we could put together a management plan. The purpose of this pond is to grow record-breaking copper-nosed bluegill. That is, that is what this pond's purpose is. Um, so with a goal like this, there is a huge demand for um, oxygen, there's heavy nutrient loads. These are all complicated factors that most ponds do experience these things, but not at the same scale that you see in a trophy fishery. Um, I, I have like no DO here. I'm, I'm at a point of seven. Things can't live at that. Mm -hmm. I literally don't know how the fish are living on that low of anything. One of the key tests that we used to determine the treatment plan was uh, sediment phosphorus fractionation. Nutrient management is vital to the success long term, not just short term, but into future years. So it's important that we not overlook the nutrients that are in the soil versus what's just in the water column. Years of feed, fish waste, dead vegetation all turn into muck. And this muck is rich in nutrients. The muck releases all these nutrients into the water, creating a surge of continual nutrients feeding the water body. Between water readings and sediment tests, it's been calculated that the total phosphorus in the water and the top 10 centimeters of sediment is over a thousand pounds of phosphorus. That's a lot. So from here, we can use that figure to calculate a reset dose of Metafloc, which is a phosphorus binding biological treatment. We are also installing new Casco surface aerators. Uh, we're going to be deploying a real-time water quality monitoring buoy. And we're also going to be doing some regular treatments of muck pellets and other beneficial bacteria. For this trophy bluegill pond to recover, the most important parameters to manage are the nutrients and the oxygen. By improving dissolved oxygen at all times, not just, you know, maybe early morning hours or through the evening, but having a steady, maintained, high dissolved oxygen level, we're improving overall growth, survival of fish, and also feeding. By managing the nutrient levels, this discourages cyanobacteria population from dominating and also supports a, the plankton community as well. We have set specific water quality goals, which we will discuss in detail in future videos. So if you'd like to continue on this journey with us and check out all the different parts of our installation of all of these products and see the progress at the Slab Lab, click and subscribe to see our upcoming segments. We will be showing you how we reset this pond. We're going to show you our aeration installation as well and a lot of unique things that we are going to be testing and collecting in order to maintain a trophy fishery. Mm -hmm.